class. It's a great way of describing the varying styles of these two teams. Fiji have grown into their work across the weekend. It was fairly straightforward sevens. It was missing a lot of the trademark offloading that we've been used to across the years. And in the game earlier today, they started to open up a little bit and really get the Fijian fans here into the action. New Zealand have just been growing and growing and growing themselves. And as we touched on through those team cards, Kerr Baker and his experience will make a difference here. It is full of an to those of you over in Fiji watching on. Kia ora to those of you catching our coverage of the Oceania Sevens from Townsville over in New Zealand as well. Great to have you with us for this final match in the men's draw in far north Queensland. The last chance for the men in the middle to impress their respective coaches and have their tickets booked and paid for for Tokyo 2020. Here we go. New Zealand v Fiji in a way under the boot there of Rockola Soa. Fiji, no issues with the kickoff, and they go to work through Vakun and Billy, who carries hard. Nashu over the top, looking for the turnover. It's scrappy out the back, and that pressure brings a little knock on at the base from Fiji. Yeah, really quick work over the ruck by New Zealand. In such good position there. Gee, there was a cheeky hand in there, wasn't there, from. An all-black sevens hand, I really think, that probably knocked that ball free. So, probably unlucky for Fiji. But that's what you get away with. You make your own luck. Rock so up. Baker calling for the switch and taking it nicely. And then he offloads quickly to Baker. Pulls up a little dodgy, does Kurt Baker, now back to his feet. Clark cutting in field, Caleb Clark, 10 out. Collier at the base, spinning it away, will need help here. Malia gets in and lends a hand, he's a bit late to it though, and Fiji get it back. So Fiji looking to convert off the back of that desperate defence. No advantage, we'll head back to the mark. They're just so quick over the ball, the Fijians. He had support play there, but just dynamic work at the breakdown. They're able to get in such good position to force the turnover and get themselves out of the danger zone. Jerry Tuai comes in for his first line out of this matchup. Sefamasi, the man, in the middle looking for the take here. Darren Lani goes back and assists with the lift and now spins out and comes back to where it began and that'll help. Penalty there, offside is the call against New Zealand. Fiji take it up to halfway now. Last time Fiji played international sevens here in Australia was January 2020, where they raised the cup down in Sydney. On that occasion, it was their number 12, Napoleon Mbulafa, who was the man of the match, looking to replicate that effort further up the eastern seaboard here in Townsville. Getting a hand on shortly as Tuai swings around the corner. Tuai darts across the field. They've opened up the angle wide right. And Fiji will convert in a flash. Wining Muro with the try. They lead by five. That was the master, wasn't it? Jerry Tuai setting that play up off the top of the line out. 
skirted out the back. Jinking around, he attracted defenders. They're so smooth, so slick, the Fijians. And that looked very impressive to start the evening. Diversion no good, and it stays Fiji 5. New Zealand yet to score. Here's another look at it, and it is two eye the maestro here orchestrating it. That lovely little decoy run set up. Wine and Golo to be unmarked on the outside. Just great little bit of deception from the flying Fijians, and it was two eye just orchestrating it. Ready? Come on. Fiji looking to Darren Alungi here up against Mickelson. Mickelson, good take. And then he gets whacked towards touch. Darren Alungi eventually does come away with it. And Fiji get a chance to move with it again. Two eye. Mickelson will swallow him up. Gets a hand there from Mulia. One in Yolo, the try scorer. Across the park there for Mangala, who's been superb this weekend. That one hops tricky off this hard deck and it's knocked on out wide. They're looking hard to handle the Fijians. They're really trying to utilize the width on the field, spreading New Zealand, trying to look for gaps. They're using their big men. On either side, just unfortunately, like you said, the bounce of the ball that time. Crouch! Reset! Point! Hold, 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 hold! Set! Rockola Soa spins away from the back of the scrum there. Mulia goes back towards the big man. Now connects with one of those. Collier backing his way up the field. Mickelson. Right there, and now playing with a penalty advantage. Rocco Lusoa, Baker. He gets met well front on there by Mangala. And we'll head back over to the mark. Geordie Way's got it. Not rolling the call there against Fiji on the ground. Yeah, it was just a bit lazy on the ground. The Fijian getting stuck there. Seeing another look at a set piece for New Zealand. Been very impressed so far this weekend. Oh, that one has gone dead in goal, and the options now for Fiji scrum or 22. They'll take the former, they dodge a bullet there. They surely do, just trying to bite off a centimeter too much. Let's just keep lines on our men. An opportunity missed for New Zealand. Crouch! Set! Set! Fine! Set! Hold! Free kick, Fiji. Too high, happy to go fast. Too high. Every time he touches, the crowd comes alive. I know how dangerous he is, so too do New Zealand. And this guy's been handy in Townsville. As well, we have enough pace. Mangala reaches out now, lays it back well. It's quick for Fiji, and they nail in another. And it's Yusufo Masi sliding in right under the dock. Masi reaps the rewards, but it was Mangala who started that play. He's been dangerous all weekend. And again, he's been hard to handle for the defence. It was a great effort. If we get to see them in full flight, you can see here just stepping, backing himself again. And pumping those arms to get to the try line. But such good presence of mind there to get such a long place. Keep that ball clear of the defenders in New Zealand to retain possession so that Nas Marcy could get the try. So at the break, it is Fiji clear by 12.
Well, the next time we'll see these two sides on our TV screens will be under 30 days away as New Zealand and Fiji get set to do battle in Tokyo as well. They are joint favourites to take the gold medal, narrowly ahead of the Blitzbox, South Africa. Australia find themselves alongside Great Britain as the next favoured side. So we're looking at the two teams, according to the books, most likely to be battling it out for the gold medal. Fiji looking to defend their championship. And New Zealand looking to podium for the first time at the Olympics. Right now, though, we have seven minutes to play at the Oceania Sevens in Townsville. In this, their final game of the weekend. Collier up here. Nice start to the second turn there from Collier. Mickelson to the back. Penalty Fiji. Not releasing the call. Perhaps a touch unlucky there. Big deal. Now, Vakun and Billy comes back his way and launches over the top. It's going to spit out the back and Fiji, as quick as you like, push it out to a 17 0 lead. Well, that's Fiji and magic for you. Not sure if it was a pass or a. Either way. The ball always bounces nicely for the Fijians. It's just something they have. And they can make magic out of nothing. It was Massey with his second. The conversion misses. And Griswain it just kind of spat out the back there. Yeah, you just heard Jordan Way say, no, nah, he lost it backwards. So it probably was a bit of a fumble, but it fell right into the hands of Darren Alungi and just strolled in. Collier, they go to him again, and this time around he takes it well and gets support to retain possession. Baker, Rockolosoa, Clark sitting one down. Caleb Clark. Not on the ball. Mickelson. Flat across for Nashu. Collier. He gets wrestled to the ground there by Sandrungu. Baker sees the space out wide and connects beautifully on the out to Mulia, who now skips back in field, has beaten one, beaten another, got passed for two, two. Good ball placement there as well. But now Fiji counter up would do so illegally. They haven't supported their weight on the way through. And New Zealand will get used to the ball. Midfield. 35 out. Have to be the next team to score. down yesterday by two against Fiji but they finished strongly unlucky not to win that one this will help them as well penalty New Zealand Mickelson wide Mulia has to dodge the rush shot from Tui Mumba now it goes across to Kurt Baker Kurt Baker buys time and gets himself on the board oh, oh, oh. spicy uh, this is standard Kurt Baker v Fiji this is week in, week out on the World Series. We'll just walk away. Okay. I'll score a try. We just haven't got the thumbs up. He's making a tackle. It's fine. Making a tackle? Yes. No. I don't need to hear from you. Walk away. Rockula saw it. It's a good strike, and it's a good result for New Zealand as well. 17 play 7. 
really good work. Such a big floating ball over the top to try and release Baker on the outside. The old legs just had enough in them to get him to the try line. This is his first start of the weekend, this clash. And he might get another handle here now, will he? No, Fiji. Grab it through Butitu to Mumba spinning away from a couple. Power of the man. Butitu. On hand quickly to send it across the park. Sundrungu. Tuai in there looking to secure possession, but New Zealand do a great job of disrupting there and have kept themselves in the contest. Yeah, just a little mistake there at the breakdown. Just the fluidity of this Fiji inside. It's beautiful to watch, but it was just a little knock forward on the ground. So the Black Sevens will have a chance here to try and pull one back with a couple of minutes to play. Kurt Baker coming from the field, the try scorer. Saw his trademark thumbs up just before. And then he got pushed in the back. And then it was on. New stub. Prolific New Zealand point scorer. Goes round the corner, but then loses it. It's gone forward. It'll be a penalty. Man in front after the knock on. Molia didn't notice it. And BG get the luxury now via the kicking to touch or pack in the scrum. It's Lapa who will come in and look to the sideline. Lovely touch finder as well. Puts it five out. And a really good opportunity now just to wind down the clock. You think the Oceania title is Fiji's now. It's, it was a 34 point difference that New Zealand needed to win by. So that looks like it's dead and buried. Too high to the middle lovely take they keep it tight here Fiji now it spits out the back and New Zealand come away with lovely ball over the top here for Newstub they're screaming for it out wide look at the pace and the chase from Tuamumba Clark Clark v Tuamumba oh Clark pinballs the Fijian defender huge contact and now Fiji get in and steal it back from New Zealand. Wow, Batichu. He'll need help. He's isolated and New Zealand get a good shot on and they will win the penalty. 90 seconds to go, 13 minutes gone. 17-7 the score. Can they put one in here, New Zealand? Set us up with a grandstand finish. Malia looking for it. Now... Trying to get it wide, but then it's lost in the mix of bodies. And Fiji hang on, and that'll be enough to see them through unbeaten in Townsville. Well, they just put enough pressure on, didn't they? At the critical moment, the All Black Sevens were really, really screaming and fighting for that quick ball. And the clock is stopped with 57 seconds left. But yeah, well, they were fighting for that ball. They wanted it quickly, the All Blacks. And the Fijian just did enough to slow it up. Geordie, Geordie, we've got eight black on the field, eight black players. Hold on. Gee, that collision. Caleb Clark on. Yeah, good now. Tony Ellis and Drew was huge. He's Vakarun and Billy. Ooh, that was earlier. That one spat out the side. That was. The lead up to the first try of the second half. In the end, it was picked up by Massey, who put in his second. This is too high. But right on their own line, Fiji. Butitu does the hard stuff and gets creased by Kuroi. Now the penalty for Fiji. Gee, that was a nice shot front on from Kuroi on Butitu. It's not often Butitu gets manhandled like that, but that was... A perfectly executed shot from Billy Kuroi. 
Lapa looking for touch, gets it just short of the 22. It was great chat and lead up to this tournament. Jerry Tuai speaking with the local press here in Townsville. They said, will you show us everything? Will you show us what's in the locker? He said, we're going to keep a little up our sleeve ahead of Japan. We'll do what we need to. And that's exactly how it's played out. Just feel like there's a few more gears that Fiji can reach for when they do get to Tokyo. Full-time siren goes. The Tidu back in the pocket. Won't be needed. And there's your gold medal favourites for Tokyo. Fiji unbeaten in this their final lead-up tournament to the Olympics. Too good for New Zealand. And their final match of the weekend, the score 17 to 7.